I do need to make those brown butter bites and that'll be fun on this pan. I gotta be careful not to burn them though. But brown butter bites, I wanna make them the other way. So there's like a whipped version where you make the brown butter bites as you normally would and then you let them cool in the fridge. Then you put them in a blender after, or maybe the mixer, I'll have to look, but I think it was blender, and whip it. And then it gets a bunch of air trapped in there and then you've got whipped ones and then you put it in molds. And then it makes it like a fluffy butter. I don't know, we're gonna see. Powering this on, temp. I want it to be on Fahrenheit. I better put it low, I don't know how low to go. Okay, the lowest it can go is 176, I guess. So I've got, unsalted and salted. That's what I've been doing for my brown butter bites now. And that's Kerrygold. Silver package unsalted, gold pack is salted. And those are double stick butters there. This is looking good. Click it a bunch of times and it will take you from Fahrenheit to Celsius and then you can do the up and down button. So that's pretty easy. All right, I'll show you. I don't know what that is. Watts, how many watts are you using? So 220 Celsius. 392 Fahrenheit, but I'm going way low because I don't want to. So the lowest it'll go is 176 Fahrenheit for everyone in the US. This one will go to 464 Fahrenheit. That is some beeping. Sorry about that. I'm just scared it's going to burn, so I'm putting it low. Okay, so let me get the butter brown in and we'll see what if there's anything different. I'm super impressed. I am loving this induction cook top. Um, I wish I had a recessed hole for it to put it on my counter, or I guess that whole thing. We can keep an eye out for a pallet and see if we can find one that's got induction cooker on it. And I'm excited about this single one here, just because I hardly ever use more than one burner at a time. I certainly am not going to do it on the carnivore diet. There's nothing I would ever need two for. That's exciting. I did turn up the heat to 212 right now. I don't know exactly what that would equal on my burner over here. So far, it's looking good. My pan is not hot like my handle and everything, and that's really nice. Some of you guys commented on my last brown butters where I showed I was eating them, and they were lighter, and you guys said you like them darker. My first batch that you guys saw was darker, but, and I've made a bunch of batches because we're eating a lot of butter these days. I burnt a batch, and now I'm kind of scared. I'm a little bit gun shy on it. I'm afraid of burning it. <laughs> Um, most of the time they've been fine and I've been making them nice and dark night. I just went a little bit too dark and then it burned. After this batch is done, I'm going to make another batch of just unsalted and I'm going to measure them in exactly the tablespoon amounts. So that way when we do our coffee and we put two tablespoons of it in there, then I know exactly it's two tablespoons instead of me just kind of guessing on a brown butter bite in a mold. And ooh, it looks like it's starting to kind of change darkness a little bit browner thing about this induction is the fact that it stopped rapid boiling like it did um, on the water when I turned it off it just stopped I think it'll keep me from burning things like right when it gets to the burn point turn it off it's done you know it's gonna stop whereas normally I'll take it off and it's already too late the pans super hot and then I start moving it around on my granite countertop cooling it down trying to um, get it to not burn this might help with this. Oh, we got some bubbles going. This is fun. I love it. I love I love doing fun stuff and trying new things. It's so fun. So if you guys are all wondering why we do weird things like try different bikes and do different things, it's because it's so fun. If somebody wants to send something really cool, yes, we're gonna do it. We've only said yes to a handful of things. That's a compliment to AMZ Chef. Thank you for sending this because this is really cool. I really have always wanted to test one of these out. I've never had one on a pallet, never had a house with it in there, never had a friend who had induction. And all the shows that you see where they're doing cooking shows, they all seem to have that little burner and they're cooking stuff on there. And now I see why. Because it's fast, it's easy, and it seems safer. I like the fact that when it's off, it's not hot. Fix all the boxes, except it is more expensive. So having just one burner is really all we need. I don't need four of them. This is perfect. It's great. I can't even imagine like trying to do how much faster you could get dinner done this way. This brown butter takes a while. I guess I could have turned up the heat. It's browning and it's getting ready to start doing some browning. It's doing a lot of bubbling, getting some foam around the edges. So that means it's getting close. We're going to start getting some serious bubbles and then it starts to turn quick. Steve's dad would say the worm has turned. 
Okay, I see some browning happening here. You can tell when it starts to get foamy like that that it's happening and there's some browning coming. I'm gonna let it go a little browner than I did last time because I like it to be real caramely too, but I don't wanna burn it again. The caramely smell is happening. Mmm, it smells like buttered toast right now. I like that I can just set this on the edge there. <laughs> it's fine. Seems like it's um, controlling the temperature. You can see when the thermostat goes on and off on it, it stops boiling as crazy. And it's like I can control it more. It's keeping the same temperature, which is fine and good. Let me see, it's got a lot of brown in it. I'm so scared I'm close to the point where it could be too far, but I feel like I can control it so much better on this thing um, than the stove. So this is interesting. Oh, there's a lot of brown in there right now. No signs of burning. I would have, I feel like it would have burned on the stove by now. Once it gets to this brown, it's scary. But I feel like I can keep going. Hmm, that's an interesting little factor right there. I feel like it's got more control. It feels like it's getting dark. Oh, do I keep going or do I turn it off? I don't know. I'll turn it off. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, so it's off. I would have removed it from the stove on the other one, but it looks like it's, if I don't touch it, there's no boiling happening. So that's perfect. Nice. Okay, I hope I didn't go too far. I'm taking it off, I'm scared. Got a lot of darkness in there and it's not burnt. It is really dark. Nice. And there's a lot of black flecks in there, or brown, dark brown flecks. Isn't it weird that butter does that? It's the butter solids, I guess. So I need to put it in the fridge to cool down. Okay, while this one cools down in the fridge, I'm gonna make the um, unsalted brown butter rights. So I'll be back when this is cooler and more solidified so that way I can put it in the blender. Fun! Okay, it's cooled. I might have gone too far. But I'm gonna put it in here, it said to do it in a, with a hand mixer, but I don't have one of those. I only have this, or an immersion blender, which I guess is a hand mixer, but um, this is gonna be good. I think it's actually probably perfect. It doesn't seem too hard. I just turned this on with the beaters in the air and I've got butter all over me, all over the kitchen. <laughs> it was in the air, I meant to like shut the lid. Oh my gosh, it's always just a disaster when I cook. All right. Okay, whipped. I guess that's how much it's supposed to whip. It looks like um, cookies and cream. How fun. All right, these whipped ones are super weird because they don't like sink to the bottom. You gotta mush them in, kind of like frosting. It's so flippy and um, airy. I ended up grinding up a, a two pieces of bacon that were left over from breakfast. And I ground them up in to this. This little pumpkin one I got here came with a little spatula thing to smear it. I've been using this pumpkin one for my gelatin little bites, but I'm using for these. I feel like Steve doing concrete right now. How cute. Okay. They are whipped. Here, come try it, honey. They're so cute. Whipped brown butter bites. All right. Cheers. See a little whippers. That's all you're eating? Oh. Hmm. What's the cost? I did put a little, I ground up two pieces of bacon from breakfast. Mm. Not bad. I like them. Oh, it's more creamy. So. Yeah, so it's I definitely like more creamy. Better. Okay. But I'm sure it's nice to have the ones that snap too, so. Yeah, that's true. So those were a hit. And I can say I love induction cooking. Thank you for sending this to us, AMZ Chef. Oh, this, this was sick. awesome. That's gonna be my primary burner from now on. If you have like an RV, or if your oven goes, or your stove goes out, or you're you in, a in a small apartment or place. something, you don't have anything to cook on, get one of those. That's awesome. It it's nice perfect. Too. It does, and it's a great little size, and I can't believe how quickly it heated up water. I think it was three minutes versus 10. Wow. That's amazing. And it uses magnets. That, induction that makes heating. Sense, it was really cool. That's why. Uh-huh. 
So All you have to say was he used his neck. I know. I knew he'd like that part. But it's awesome. I'm gonna use it to make some dinner. That was so fun. I loved it. And the brown butter bites were done faster because I used that too. I was scared and I didn't burn them and they turned out great. I'll put a link to this AMZ Chef burner. They've got a two burner and a single burner. And I'll put it in there. Cool. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy your life. Look at that. I've got it right on my actual stove because screw that one now. I love this one. And it is cooking my bone broth so fast, reheating it. Wow, that was like lightning speed. This is amazing. I love it.